Melissa Riopka's roots are deep at News 19. She interned in her newsroom in 1995 while she was in college. That was the first and only time I ever ran prompter, and that was for Steve Johnson doing sports. It was not one of her best moments. It was operator error, that's, that's all I'll say, and I was never asked to do it again. She came back for a second tour a few years later. Kind of full circle moment, this is where it started, and this where is where it's ending, it's yeah. But of all the improvements made here at the University of Alabama campus. Melissa's career path took her to several TV newsrooms. With a new scoreboard and newly sodded fields, all it needs are fans to fill in the new seats. Before taking some time off. The grandfather who raised me was was sick. Um, he had Alzheimer's. My grandmother who raised me had, had cancer, so, um, and I had a baby at home, so I took a year off and kind of spent that as a caregiver. She joined our morning team as a reporter in 2013. Yep, uh, mornings seem to be what kind of always pull me back. Yeah. A few years later, she moved to the early evening anchor desk. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I was, I was tickled. It was more of a normal life for you, wasn't it? It was. That gave me an opportunity to, to have a little bit more of a normal schedule that sort of matched up with my families a little bit. And of course, to work with you, worked with Greg a bit, and the rest of the sort of afternoon, evening team, yeah. and uh, sleep in. That was nice. <laughs> but mornings called again. At the time, you know, my grandfather's Alzheimer's had gotten quite a bit worse. Yeah. And I now had two children, <laughs> not just one. And so a lot had changed, and um, I, gratefully made the move because that allowed me to, it sounds crazy, but get off work, <laughs> drive to Coleman, um, do some caregiving, yeah. drive back to Huntsville, you know, get the kiddos and then still have a career. And, um, and so that's what I did. But in addition to the hundreds of safety regulations. Balancing work with family life and being a caregiver wasn't easy. You try to be everything to everybody mm -hmm. at work and at home, and you pay the price. And, um, and I say that from a place of privilege that I even was able to work, that I was able to keep my career going, that I was able you know, to be there with my grandfather when he died. Yeah. When my grandmother developed Alzheimer's, she was able to move in with us. I was able to keep working. I was able to pick up my kids from school. But make no mistake, it has been a rough couple of years yeah. to make that happen. She's taking a leap of faith into something outside television news. I think it's time to do something that kind of scares me a little bit, that's a little bit of a change. Melissa's going to work for the city of Huntsville. I am really excited about this. She'll be working for Parks and Recreation. I grew up um, driving from Coleman four times a week to swim for the for HSA at the Huntsville Aquatic Center mm -hmm. because Coleman did not have an indoor pool. And now a chance to work with that facility and all the other, you know, great facilities they have, it, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. A more normal life as Elsa would have it. I'm going into the unknown. So I don't, I don't know if it's going to be more normal or not, but I know it is a change. In today's world, isn't running into the unknown kind of an everyday <laughs> thing? We are all doing it every day, yeah. Yeah, we are.